Puerto Rico. So today I am going to uh, concentrate on this tune by Michael Brecker, one of the best. If you don't know who Michael Brecker is, I'm sorry for you because that's one of the best saxophone players in the universe. So um, this one's called Not Ethiopia or uh, as we say here in the Caribbean, no Ethiopia. So um, this is a very fast tune, hard, and I'm going to try to explain some uh, fingerings that I developed uh, um, that are not the usual fingerings for the bass. So stay tuned. gonna play it because they're gonna demonetize my my video I have a, a my own version that is more Latin it's like a salsa Latin jazz version that I'm gonna play uh, and it's gonna be a little slower than Michael Brecker because uh, the saxophone by nature it's it's a lot easier to play faster notes it's, it's designed to play fast, you know, so all the, the scales, arpeggios um, are going to be faster. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring it down a little bit to a more, we could call it danceable uh, tempo. Not necessarily danceable, but um, yeah, that's, let's start, you know. Like one position, one finger per per note. And if you want to go chromatic or you gotta do some uh, shifting, all right. But in this case, we have the line that uh, goes like this. You're gonna try different fingers and find the one that is best for you. But for me is because when I go from the third finger uh, shifting with the third finger, then you have the fourth right there. Because otherwise, I mean, you could do. Let me see. You, you would have to, you know, to me this is the easiest fingering. Um, you can try your, your own fingering and, and find, but the thing is you're going to have to come down. So this is kind of breaking a little bit of the technique because the, the, the thing you should do is with a straight finger. So. Oh, you could do it like that too. If you can play this one with the uh, bar, you know, with. Um, I just, you know, I mean, I just discovered that one, but I prefer this one. And the way you're gonna start this, as usual, in every part that is difficult, you're gonna do it very slow, like four. Mm -hmm. 
All right. So for that part, I do, I use that one, the, the shifting with the third finger. Uh, on the right hand, you can choose between articulating every note, which is the, the hard way and is the the best way. It would you know you play every note every note, or you can sweep with a little bit because this one is. <clears throat> So, so that's how you, you take it to fast, you go slowly, uh, faster and faster and faster, okay? As, as usual. Now, here you have to do a bar too because from here, you want to do that arpeggio. One, one, three, four. And then also bar here. Yeah, actually the, the bar with three strings. Try to put, right after this one, you put the, the, the easiest way is to put the, the uh, first finger all the way uh, doing a bar between G, D, and, and G. No, this is not G, this is F. <laughs> okay, there you go. If you're a beginner, um, you wanna find the, the places in your finger that can do pressure without hurting the finger, okay? For me, is one, one string is here, So one string is right on my, almost right on the crack of the the joint, first joint. The second string is gonna be right in the middle of my tip. And third string is gonna be more uh, up here in the callus section, you know. So, so as soon as you go, after this one, jump to this one is better. Then you don't have to move it, because otherwise you're gonna have to do. And when you do fast, that's gonna be a little hiccup there. So remember, get used to it slowly. And do this for days. I mean, like, do it slow, do it slow. And then next day you try to maybe do it fast. And and when, when you have it fast, also go back and do it slow because you you'll find different uh, mistakes and stuff that you you did, and 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 now you're gonna find a better way to do it. Like I said, you can find better fingering, you can find uh, a better everything. So keep doing it uh, slow. So the next part, it's uh, after this one is is. Uh, Okay, so here what I do is I open my hand a little bit, stretch and do bar here also. To do that triad, arpeggio, move your first finger up. See? And then I'm sweeping also. I'm not doing. You should practice it both ways, pra articulating every note and also uh, sweeping because uh, it might be easier and better for you to do. And if you can do this, usually it sounds better when you articulate every note. But in fusion, you're gonna have. So you gotta understand the style. The the in fusion. It's not like classical music where, where everything is going to be clean uh, or flamenco where you're going to articulate every note. Uh, you know, you've seen Frank Gambale doing the, you know, the sweeps and that uh, infusion is, you know, it's like there's classical, you know, pop music and there's jazz. There's a little bit of 
Freedom in Jazz, where it should be clean, but if you experiment, it's okay. You can mumble a little, a little bit, you know, like they say. Uh, not intentionally, you know, you want to play clean, but you can uh, have a ghost note, you know. But fusion is even more free. It's, it's more like, to me, it, that's just my opinion, but it's a music where, a style of music where you uh, take your your techniques to the to the limit. You know, it's it's more like uh, let's see how far you can what what can you do with the hand and and, and usually it's fast. This also a bar with with this finger with your pinky. You're gonna another bar here and then shift. That's the way I do it. Like I said, you can you can try different ways. And then there's the the bridge, which would be the other part. The other part, it's not that hard. It's a something like that. So that's no problem, you know. And then you come back to the that was A A B. Now A again. And to the coda. And okay, so that's the one, two, three. And then with the four fingers. Okay. So that's um, that's about it for the melody. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Thank <laughs> you. 